Being able to determine the condition of components like the shuttle's main engines is critical. And that's the primary goal for this NASA-sponsored research effort at the University of Cincinnati. A team of faculty members and graduate students is developing a series of micro-sensors to indicate the health of spacefaring vehicles. Almost everything visible here is just packaging used in testing. The sensor itself is just a tiny speck in the center. Viewing one of these sensors under a microscope reveals their sophistication. Advanced micro-machine techniques make it possible to include valves, heaters or even motors in a device with a diameter less than that of a human hair. The goal is to embed these tiny flow sensors into the walls of critical shuttle engines and system components to ensure they're functioning properly. The sensors are so small that even if one came loose, it would have a negligible effect on engine performance. Researchers are also working on vibration and crack detection centers for other parts of the shuttle, which could point out existing defects or indicate fatigue in high stress areas where problems might occur. There are a number of potential spin-off applications from micro-sensors like these, and researchers at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center are already exploring their use in the care of premature infants. A significant number of premature infants suffer respiratory disorder, and many must be connected to a ventilator around the clock. But setting the ventilator remains a relatively imprecise science, and improper oxygen levels can contribute to more severe problems, including damage to the brain. The medical researchers are studying the possibility of putting a micro-sensor inside the plastic tube inserted in a baby's trachea. Advanced micro-sensors enhancing the health of spacefaring vehicles and those who may one day fly them.